feel like such a villain. <laughs> hey, how's it going? If you're new, welcome to my channel. I think you'll like it here. Everyone's really sweet. Today, we are making horns. So many people were asking me where I got my party horns, uh, the ones I wore in my Black Friday makeup video, and uh, I half made them, half didn't. I didn't really make them. I just glued some old Halloween horns onto a new headband because they used to be on like this little elastic string that has since crumbled away. So they were just sitting there waiting to be glued onto a headband, so that's what I did. They used to be red, I painted them black, and uh, they're really front heavy though. They just kind of slide forward. So today we're gonna make some horns that are lightweight, stay where you want them, and we're gonna look awesome. And that way everyone can have a pair and we can not just all wear them and that'll be our thing. <laughs> horns. The thing you're gonna need is a super comfortable headband. So I'm using this little scrunchy brand headband. It comes in a pack of three. One's gray, one's tortoise shell, and one's black. And they sell them everywhere. Normally I would suggest using a headband with a thicker band, but this one is just so darn comfortable. It just stays where it's supposed to go and squeezes my head, but it doesn't squeeze it too hard. It doesn't give me a headache or anything. It doesn't poke me behind the ears. So if your head seems to be shaped moderately like mine, these might be for you. We're gonna make some awesome horns today. <laughs> They're super easy to make. I haven't made them in a long time, but I remember it was really fun. So let's have some fun. Then when you do your makeup and put your horns on, you can think of me. Are you ready? All right, let's do it. You're gonna need some foil, heavy duty. Don't be using the flimsy stuff. Newspaper, I'm using junk mail. Masking tape, your headband, scissors, and hot glue. All right, let's, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is take my junk mail and roll it into a cone. It helps to hold down the point with your finger and then use your other hand to roll the paper around it. And I'm going to tape that down. Now you can trim it down to any size you want. I accidentally went way too big at first. I had some huge horns, but luckily you can always cut them down even if you've already put on the foil. So I'm gonna take a decent sized piece and wrap my cone up in it. I'm gonna trim off the excess, leaving about an inch so that I can fold it over to the inside. Twist it from top to bottom and it magically transforms from a cone into a horn. And now you can start shaping it and bending it and just forming it into the shape that you want your horns to be. I added small bits of foil here and there where it needed it to make it thicker and for more stability. The more foil you add, the easier it gets to form and mold your horn into the shape that you want. It's almost like clay. It's weird but very satisfying. And be careful when you're twisting not to cut yourself. It is a sheet of metal, after all. <laughs> when you're trying to match your horns, remember that they don't have to be entirely symmetrical. A little bit of variation is fun, and I kind of like that askew, asymmetrical horned look. To seal in all the little pieces, take another length of foil at least as wide as the horn and wrap it up. You can do this as many times as you need until you're done. I flattened out the bottom of my horns by pressing them down onto my work surface. I'm pretty happy with how they look, so now it's time to do the glue. Starting at the very tip, I'm applying it in spirals all the way down the horn. This part was the hardest for me because my hands shake so badly, but I managed. If your hands shake as bad as mine, it's okay, just take your time. It doesn't really mess with the design of the horns. Apply the glue in nice thick strands, twisting the horn as you go all the way down. Do this over and over, 
laying the spirals next to each other each time until the horn is all filled up. You can start from the very top about three times before you run out of room and then you have to start a little bit lower, but you don't really notice that in the finished design of the horn. You can go back and add more glue here and there if you need to, to fix any flat spots. Beautiful, I'm so excited. Now it's time to spray paint. I think that a matte or satin finish would look the best, but all I have is gloss, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna have some shiny horns. All right, so I've been spraying them all day and now they're finally dry. Got my headband on. And now I just have to see how I want the horns to sit, or if I want it to be like this. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. Yes! All right. Oh, I'm so excited. I should be wider. Wider? Up here. Here? Or should they be way out here? Oh man, so many decisions. Your horns can be wherever the fuck you want them to be. So you're gonna decide where you want your horns to be and then glue them down. Oh, I'm nervous, I'm nervous, okay? Okay, and they kind of sit comfortably right there. So I'm going to very carefully, without pulling my hair out, take it off and keep it right there. Put some hot glue under there. I'm only putting a tiny dot, that way if I don't like where the horn is, I can just rip it off real quick and try again. See, this needs to be curved, turned a little bit more like that. Darn it. I think I got it this time. But remember, you can do this as many times as you like. You can fuck up as often as you wish. One final dot of glue. So now that your horns are all set, you can just go back and add a few more dots of glue if you want or you can bring the glue all the way around the band, but just be aware that it may not be very comfortable if you do that. It will be more secure though. Your horns will not go anywhere. I'm just adding extra dots right there on the side. So now, There you go. Now you can make your very own horns, just like the ones I wore in my video, except uh, better because these aren't going anywhere. <laughs> and of course you can make them any size that you want. You can do little bitty cute horns or you can do big old sexy monster horns, whatever you wish. You can do them in any color that you like. You can spray the ends a different color, maybe something metallic, something silver. You can even put glitter. Oh, should we put glitter on these? Oh, maybe, maybe. Now we can all put our horns on together when we do our makeup and it'll be the thing that unites us. <laughs> Are you so excited? I'm fucking excited. I'm so thrilled about my new horns. I think they're just delightful okay i'm gonna wear them for the rest of the night i'm gonna wear them while i cook dinner thank you so much for hanging out with me i hope this was helpful i hope you are inspired to go make yourself a lovely set of horns and we can all be a bunch of horned creatures together lurking in the shadows and cackling over sparkly things make sure you post pictures a bunch of you are gonna make these and I want to see them. I think it's gonna be awesome. Share your photos with me on Twitter or Instagram, whatever you use, and I would love to see. Guys too, this is not just for the ladies. These would look awesome on some of you gentlemen, I'm sure, so get to work. <laughs> Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Skelterina. That way you can share all your awesome pictures with me and all the fun things. Also, you can check out my Etsy shop, Skelterina Creations. I have some ear cuffs, I have some pixie ears, I have some of my little bones and gemstones, Memento Mori chakra pendants, and I have some dream catchers as well. So, yeah, check it out. Talk to me in the comments, and I'll see you soon. Bye!